This is a tutorial video for drummers around grade two level. It's going to cover techniques, rudiments, uh, coordinations. Uh, it's a compound exercise. So it's good to play uh, when you're practicing. It's the first thing you do to get warmed up. So I'm going to play it through from the top. And then I'm going to go through it bar by bar. Okay, let's go through this bar by bar. So the first bar, we've got double strokes with accents on the first of each double. So that's just a good technique for uh, an exercise for dynamics. Second bar, we go around our four common rhythms. One and two e and three and a four e and And then we've got our buzz roll. Different types of roll. This is the buzz roll or closed roll. Um, in grade three, you start uh, coming to the open, open stroke roll. So buzz roll, think of sixteenths, the pulse of your hands and the bass drum. But instead of rebounding, we hit and we press each time. Bar four is single strokes, one E and a two E and a, right, left, right, left, right, left, and so on. But the feet, we're now gonna have the right foot and the left foot. So we should hear one and two and three and four and. Bar five, we carry on the foot pattern, one and two and three and four and, but the hands will change to double strokes. It's still sixteenths, it's still the same rhythm. So we should hear. Bar six, the feet keep going, but we have paradiddles on top. And this one might make your brain sting a little bit because we're going to start getting right hands with the left foot and left hand with the right foot. So we should get. And then we're going to go to bar seven and we move the paradiddle sticking around the kit. Just the different sounds can sometimes put our, our ears off. So it's good to hear different rhythms and beats in different parts of the kit. So we've got the high tom for two paradiddles, low tom, low tom for two paradiddles. Bar eight, flams. So think of we will rock you. A flam rudiment, which comes in grade two. Think of uh, onomatopoeia. You would play it as you'd say it, the sound of it. Flam. Fra, fra. We have the ghost note waiting down low. We don't pull up, we keep it low. And the right hand calls back and switch. So the bass drum gives us that break to reset our hands each time. Bar nine, the percentage looking symbol, that means to play bar eight again. It's a repeat sign. So we play bar eight, we will hear that uh, twice. So from bar eight. And bar 10, we've got one and two, the flam, but drags next. So that's why it's important to learn the flam starting position because the drags build on that. And rather than it just be one ghost note, we've got two. So we need a quick, delicate bounce and a switch. And 
And then we're gonna build the drag into a drum beat and you'll hear lots of drummers doing this. A particularly famous one, Chad Smith, the Chili Peppers, Californication. So it's happening here in bar 11, just a bit of a more simplified drum beat. So bar 11 sounds like. Bar 12 is a copy of bar 11, it's repeated. Bar 13, we still got the drag at the start of the bar. So rather than the drag and snare, we put our right hand on the hi-hat. So there's our drag split. So bar 13. And the circle on four and is the open hi-hat uh, marking. So we have bar 14, we have the plus sign above the first hi-hat. That means to shut the left foot, the hi-hat down. So one and two and three and four, flam on four. Flam with the bass drum. Next we have roughs. So in grade two, we have flams, drags and roughs. And a rough, we don't bounce this, we actually stick it. And the, your default will be left, right, left, right. The fourth note is the loudest and that is on the beat. So that's with the bass drum. And again. Start slowly, and when you get the hang of them, you can start speeding them up. Bar 16, the last bar, we're splitting the roughs around the kit. So you'll see the ghost notes are on the snare. And it's down to the low tom with the bass drum. If I put the click on, you're here, I'm gonna play the roughs now with the click and you'll see what I mean by the spacing that the, the fourth note, the, the main note, is what's on the beat and the three ghost notes sit in front of, of each beat. So this is, this is a warm up exercise. Um, ideally do it each time you sit down to practice. It's gonna get you warmed up. It's gonna get you just playing through all the rudiments you should be learning in the grade that you're currently playing, grade two. And it just keeps everything tuned and in shape. I hope you enjoy it.